Since Pilates is currently trending and it seems that just about everyone is doing Pilates, I thought I would try Pilates to see if it actually does have any benefits. If you're yet to start Pilates but want to give it a try, this video is definitely for you. This is me, AK Renee, and I'm extremely uncoordinated and for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to try Pilates for eight entire weeks. Watch me struggle as I test out the best YouTube Pilates workouts. Grab your snacks guys because you're all in for a treat with this video. Hi, hello and welcome back to yet again another video. As I'm sure you can all see from the title and thumbnail of this video, we are going to be doing another video fully dedicated to Pilates because I'm officially Pilates obsessed. I've been doing Pilates for about two months now and oh my goodness, the results that I've seen, the benefits. I'm going to be spilling all the tea on all of the Pilates workouts that I do, as well as why I do Pilates, all the benefits that I've seen personally from switching to Pilates. Pilates is currently trending for good reason. I've literally seen Pilates all over my For You page for like, the last I think three months. Seems that just about everyone is switching to doing Pilates at the moment. If you're someone that's still uncertain, I hope by the end of this video that you do give Pilates a try. One who has personally struggled with chronic fatigue really, really bad this year and basically losing all of my gains and strength, what I was doing with lifting weights, doing full body workouts. We found that Pilates is really beneficial for me and my fatigue. Also helped me regain my strength back. I noticed a really big change in my core strength. I'm not necessarily referring to how defined or snap matched your waist looks. Actual core strength is significantly improved. I'm yet to actually start doing Pilates classes or reform of Pilates, but I'm really hoping that in January of next year, I'm actually going to take the plunge and sign up to do classes. I really still feel with my chronic fatigue that if I started now, it would probably still be a waste of money. I'm just going to stick to my at-home workouts in my lounge room. I'll be sharing with you all my top at-home Pilates workouts before I decide to change my mind and doing a workout and going to the kitchen to eat chocolate. Let's jump straight into it. Friendly reminder, I'm not trying to lose weight from doing Pilates, but I am interested to see what my body looks like afterwards. You're an awkward gal and you're also extremely uncoordinated. This segment is definitely for you. I know what you're all thinking, Renee, why are you not wearing a cute Pilates outfit like you see on Instagram and TikTok? Well, let me tell you, Hans, it has been absolutely freezing where I live. It is currently summer and it literally still feels like winter. I was in the middle of my Pilates abs workout. I then realized that there was literally dust and dirt all over the floor. And to be honest, I had not vacuumed in at least two weeks. It is not going to stop me from finishing my Pilates workouts because we're going to be having some nice chiseled abs just in time for a hot girl summer. Sometimes I think that I look really good when I work out and then I just look back at this footage and think, hmm, no, I definitely do not look good. Be fooled at how easy some of these workouts look because these Pilates pelvic floor workouts will literally transform your core strength, guys. Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, it's Ralph, our special guest for today's episode. No one else's pet just stare at the mid Pilates workout in the lounge room. Or is that just me? Because literally every single workout I do, Ralph's just there watching. Ralph is officially my new Pilates instructor. I mean, he doesn't say much, but he coaches very well. I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting a Ralph. 12 seconds later. If someone tells you that they enjoy doing planks in a Pilates workout, they're definitely lying. I love lasting forever. The only thing I like about planks in a Pilates workout is that it means it's usually the last exercise, which means, yay, we're finished. All I want for Christmas is food. Mostly just chocolate, but food. A few moments later. It is currently the holidays. Chocolate just didn't cut it, guys. I had to make brownies as well, and I'm currently obsessed with these Simple Mills brownies. They're delish. One eternity later. I was having some soup. My mum actually made this and brought some over for me. Smells delicious. I don't know how I'm going to attempt eating soup in a white top, guys. This is a really bad idea. Why did I not think of this in advance? We're going to have my soup anyway, no matter what color my top is. I always spill fruit on me every single time I eat. Okay, it's really hot. Mmm, delicious. Currently been doing Pilates for about eight weeks now, I think. I've also spoke a little bit about Pilates pelvic floor exercises. It truly transformed my core strength. Overall, just feels so much stronger. I also really want to do reformer Pilates. I have zero balancing skills and seen all the TikTok videos of reformer Pilates and it looks really difficult to do. Just for reference, I'm 110% going to be having some chocolate after I have my soup. 
You can also say I'm definitely not eating chocolate. I am eating chips as well as a tasty burger because let's be honest, it's the holidays, guys. I'm definitely not doing Pilates every day. We need to start normalized doing Pilates whilst eating a burger and then having chocolate afterwards. Okay, now actually moving on to the workout. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a move with Nicole Pilates workout for you all. I'm literally obsessed with her Pilates workouts. Okay, this exercise was really awkward to do. And all I can say is that my abs were the only reason I could do this exercise. I'm starting to now step out of my comfort zone when it comes to my Pilates workouts and that is honestly the energy that I want going into 2023. You could say this is technically my warm-up for reformer Pilates that I am going to actually attempt in the new year. This moment that I actually realized I was wearing my shoes. I should not be wearing shoes during Pilates. So then I just had a quick little, you know, outfit change. So focused on my core strength this year that I almost forgot about the bootay. Not seen any size difference in my glutes but it just feels more firmer. I don't know if that makes any sense guys. Pilates booty workouts are literally a category of their own and they definitely deserve recognition. Okay now moving on to some more core work and then we're going to be finishing off with some stretching exercises. Before I started doing any Pilates exercises I thought it was just stretching. I thought it was just this and that was it but I was so so wrong. All of the story guys do not underestimate Pilates at all costs. You need to try it if you haven't your life will literally change for the better. I'm sitting back on the green couch and that can only mean one thing guys, it is results time baby. I hope you guys are prepared to see my results of me doing Pilates, not done Pilates every single day because I would literally be so exhausted with my chronic fatigue and everything. I've been consistent doing Pilates around three to four times every single week. Results have not just been physical changes that I've noticed, I all feel so much stronger. I can happily say that I can open a jar of pasta sauce all by myself now. I mean from someone who literally had zero upper body strength. A few of you did pick up in my other Pilates video that I do have scoliosis which means that I do get back pain with that sometimes. I've not had any back pain at all since starting Pilates. I don't think that's just a coincidence. I also have this thing where one of my legs is a little bit shorter than one of my other legs and also calls back pain as well. So I read an article the other week that Harry Styles also has this condition and guess what his solution to this was? Pilates. So I guess you could say in Harry Styles, pretty much twins. Apart from the fact that he can sing really good and I definitely cannot sing at all. Really bad exercise intolerance this year. I don't know how I've had a fitness YouTube channel exercise intolerance because let me tell you, me and exercise this year have not been friends. Pilates has literally been a lifesaver for me. I've only been able to do exercises that really work well for my body and my level of fitness. Though I might not be able to squat 100 kilos like I used to, but I'm totally okay with the fact body and health has changed, which means that my exercise has also changed. This is what my body was looking like before I started started doing any Pilates. What my body was looking like before I started any Pilates, still hot, still cute guys. I just literally wanted to feel more stronger. And if my body changed in any way, then that was definitely just a bonus. Again, here's some more before footage for you all. I took literally so much footage and this is what my body was looking like afterwards. Overall feels so much stronger, especially in my core strength as well as my upper body strength. Video isn't sponsored, but if it was, it would be sponsored by all of the tears from all of my exes. Well, honesty, I'm just happy that I know longer need a man to open a jar of pasta sauce for me. I can open it all by myself. And I'll see you guys all in my next video.